What do the new layoffs mean for the future of Meta? Are you worried about the future of Meta after the recent layoffs? They just announced a huge layoff at their company. What does this mean for the future? Find out in this upcoming video and we'll be discussing the impact on everyone who's going to be affected and exploring potential scenarios for the company's future. If you're interested in the world of the metaverse, make sure that you join MetaHub by subscribing now. We're going to keep you up to date on the latest developments and show you the incredible potential of the digital universe. So don't miss out, become a part of this amazing experience and be among the first to explore the incredible world of the metaverse. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what the recent layoffs at Meta mean for the company's future. We can understand that this can be a confusing and stressful time, so we're here to provide some insight and analysis on the situation. In this video, we're going to discuss the impact of the layoffs on Meta's employees, customers, and stakeholders, as well as exploring potential scenarios for the company's future. So if you're interested in learning more about the future of Meta, keep watching! Oh boy is it a tough time to be a Meta employee. The recent layoffs have probably sent shockwaves through the company, leaving many employees wondering what the future holds for them. But on the bright side, at least they may be getting a nice severance package to help tide them over during this tough time, or maybe Meta will be generous enough to offer outplacement services like job search assistance and resume writing assistance. Because nothing says we care about you like a professionally written LinkedIn profile. Seriously though, it's important to consider the human toll of these layoffs. Losing a job can be difficult and stressful for everyone, and it's important for Meta to offer support for those who have been affected. Maybe they could even throw in some therapy sessions to help employees deal with the emotional fallout. Or hey, maybe they could just give everyone a hug and a pat on the back. It's not going to solve everything though. Hang in there, meta employees. How could the customers be affected by the situation? It's not really looking good for Meta's customers either. The recent layoffs have potentially a number of impacts on the company's products and services. For starters, the company may see a decrease in productivity, as remaining employees struggle to pick up the slack left by their laid-off colleagues. This could lead to delays and issues with orders and requests, which is never a good thing for customers. Additionally, the layoffs may result in a decrease in the overall quality of Meta's products and services. With fewer employees to go around, it's possible that the company might start cutting corners in order to meet deadlines and keep up with demand. And let's be real, nobody wants a subpar product or service, especially when they're paying money for it. But on the bright side, maybe the layoffs will serve as a wake-up call for Meta to streamline their operations and become more efficient. Maybe they'll come up with some super duper innovative way to make up for the lost manpower, or just start outsourcing everything to China. Either way, it's going to be interesting to see how the company adjusts and adapts in the wake of these layoffs. Could the stakeholders be affected by the sudden firing of staff? Well first, if you find this interesting and you want to learn more about intriguing topics like these, make sure you leave a like and join MetaHub by subscribing. Well, the recent layoffs at Meta are sure to have some alarm bells for the company's stakeholders. Shareholders and investors are probably feeling a little nervous right now, wondering what these layoffs mean for the company's future performance. Will Meta bounce back and recover, or are they headed for a downward spiral? No one can know for sure what will happen because only time's gonna tell, but hey, on the bright side, maybe the layoffs will lead to some cost-cutting measures that will boost Meta's bottom line. They could finally get rid of the coffee machine that's been causing nothing but trouble, or maybe start using those super cheap knockoff office supplies that no one can even tell the difference between. Every little bit that helps. But seriously, the responsibility of Meta's stakeholders to the layoffs will be an important factor in the company's future. Shareholders and investors are going to be closely watching to see how the company handles the situation and whether they're going to be able to turn things around. If they conclude they can't, that isn't going to be good news. Why would Meta do such a thing in the first place? Well, we all know that layoffs are never fun, and when it comes to the recent layoffs at Meta, it's no different. But as we try to make sense of what's happening, it's important to consider the reasons behind the decision to let go of some of the team. First off, it's possible that Meta was simply in a financial bind. They could have spent a little too much on beanbag chairs and foosball tables, and now they need to cut costs. Or they just didn't have enough people for the new app that turns your cat into a DJ. Just joking, of course, but either way, it's a bummer for those losing their jobs. On the other hand, it's also possible that Meta is undergoing some strategic changes that could be shifting their focus to a new product or market, and they feel the need to streamline the team to better align with the goals. Lastly, it's possible that Meta is facing some challenges in the market. Maybe their competitors are beating them at their own game, or maybe people just aren't as interested in the products as they used to be. Either way, it's difficult to see such a big company struggling. What kind of effect is this going to have on the tech industry? Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, not another tech company going down in flames, how will we ever survive without them? But before we all panic and start stockpiling toilet paper because that seems to be the go-to emergency supply, let's actually take a closer look at the situation. First of all, remember that Meta is just one company out of many in the tech industry. They may be a major player, but they aren't the end-all be-all of the industry. Plus, let's be real here, the tech industry is constantly evolving and changing. Just because one company hits a rough patch doesn't mean the whole industry will be doomed. I'm not saying the layoffs at Meta aren't a big deal, of course they are. 
but let's not forget that the tech industry is full of smart, innovative people who always come up with new ideas and solutions. If Meta faces some challenges in the future, I have no doubt that they and the industry as a whole will find some way to adapt and move forward. The layoffs at Meta are definitely something to keep an eye on, but let's not jump to conclusions about the future of the tech industry as a whole. How will this affect their reputation? Ah yes, the age-old question, what will people think of us? It's a question that every company grapples with at some point, especially relevant when it comes to layoffs. Because let's be real, nobody wants to be seen as the bad guy. Nobody wants to be the company that cruelly tosses their employees aside like yesterday's news. But unfortunately, layoffs are a reality for many companies, and when it comes to Meta's recent layoffs, it's no different. So the question is, how can Meta avoid damaging their reputation in the wake of these layoffs? Well, they could try the whole it's not you, it's me approach. You know, like when you break up with someone and you say, it's not you, it's me, even though it's usually them. Meta could try something similar, saying it's not you laid off employees, it's the economy, market, fickle nature of the tech industry. But seriously, no matter how Meta chooses to handle the layoffs, it's important that they communicate openly and transparently with their employees and stockholders. They need to be clear about the reasons behind the layoffs and what the future holds for the company. And most importantly, they need to show that they care about their employees and are doing everything they can to support them during this difficult time. At the end of the day, a little bit of empathy can go a long way in preserving a company's reputation. Will they be able to bounce back to their former glory? A very important thing to look at for potential of growth and recovery after the layoffs at Meta. Now I know what you're thinking, growth and recovery after layoffs, that's like trying to make a sandwich with one slice of bread, it's not possible. But don't give up on Meta just yet. While the layoffs may have been a tough pill to swallow, it's important to remember they could also serve as an opportunity for the company to move forward in a new direction. Think about it this way, the layoffs may have allowed Meta to cut out some of the dead weight and streamline their operations. With fewer employees to worry about, the company may be able to focus more on their core competencies and areas of expertise. And who knows, maybe they'll even be able to save a few bucks on office supplies and coffee in the process, it's a win-win. Of course it won't be as easy for Meta to bounce back after the layoffs, but with a little bit of hard work and some creative thinking, they may be able to find new opportunities for growth and recovery. Maybe they'll pivot to a different market and find success in a new area, the possibilities are endless. This could be the start of a new chapter for the company, and who knows, maybe they'll even come out of this situation stronger and more successful than ever before. So what have we found out about the recent turn of events? Well, the recent layoffs at Meta have caused uncertainty and stress for employees, potentially leading to decreased productivity and quality for products and services. It has also raised concerns for the stakeholders, including shareholders and investors, about the future performance of the company. The reasons for the layoffs could include financial challenges or changes in business strategy, and it's important for Meta to support laid off employees and consider options such as severance packages and outplacement services, as well as finding ways to potentially streamline applications and become more efficient. The response and actions of Meta are going to be crucial in determining the future of the company. If you're interested in our next video, you can check it out right over here. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed, join MetaHub by subscribing now.